Hey there guys, it's been a while. I'm back with a Little Cup rotation battle. Looking at my opponent's team today, he's got a Ball Toy, Trubbish, Clamperol, Igglybuff, Riolu, and Stunky. Serious threats on his team? Stunky and Clamperl. Everything else I can somewhat manage, but looking at Ball Toy, I'm going to have to worry about it. I've never faced a Trubbish in Little Cut before, so that'll be interesting. And Igglybuff has access to Wish and I think Heal Bell, so I got to worry about that. And that Riolu, I'm going to guess is a standard Riolu. Let's get to the battle, shall we? My opponent is my good buddy, Silex LOL. He decided that he wanted to have a rotation battle with me, as usual. And I'm going to send out my hot-hatted Padawan and Mini-Me first turn as he sends out his stinky YSMRRB and Power. I'm guessing that uh, he's going to go for a Stealth Rock first turn, which he does. And I go for return, and I kind of make a mistake here. I forget that Copycat copies the last move used. I wanted to copy his own Stealth Rock, but I ended up copying my own return. And here, I'm just going to switch into my hot-headed and go for a Shadow Ball to take out his Ball Toy. So that's one uh, potential threat out of the way. He goes into his Stella, his Stunky, and I know what's coming. I see the Sucker Punch. I know what Sucker Punch is coming. And I'm going to go for a Drain Punch, so that way I can get some HP back. And he's going to switch out into his Trubbish, and I'm guessing he knows exactly what kind of set this is, because I'm going for Bulk Up, and he goes straight for a Clear Smog. So... I have got to be worried about that thing. He goes for another clear smog, expecting me to keep setting up or something, but if he knows what set I'm using, I'm not going to bother trying to set up. I'm going to go for Earthquake as he switches into his Stunky again, and I'm going to keep going for these Earthquakes because I know it's going to hit all of his team at least neutrally effective. So down goes Stunky, and he's going to send out Lil Jedi. And I see it's a Riolu, I see his name is Lil Jedi, and I'm thinking maybe it's the same kind of set I have. So I'm going to go for an Acrobatics, and he's going to go for Crunch, and here I'm predicting the Prankster Copycat, which I'm right, he does, and he's going to go for the Crunch, which is going to do nothing, as I go for Drain Punch just to take it out. So, uh, seeing my set used against me, uh, it really doesn't work if you know exactly what's happening. He sends out his Igglybuff and switches into Clam Pearl as I go for a Copycat and go for Drain Punch, and he's just going to go for a Substitute, and thinking about it, I... It would have been really funny if I just went for a copycat and substituted two. He goes for Shell Smash, and I'm a little worried, but I knew that he was going to Shell Smash this turn, so I go for a Whirlwind. Unfortunately, he's down to his last three Pokemon, which really works against me in this case. He uh, gets a crit on this Surf, but it didn't matter. He did get a Shell Smash off. So I go to my Growlithe Bulb, who's going to resist the hit, as and just go for the Giga Drain as he switches into his LMA, LMAF. And I'm just not sure what to expect from this. He goes for Thunder Wave, which paralyzes me, and switches into Trubbish as I go into my Padawan, and he goes for Clear Smog, so I'm wondering how the heck did he know I was going to go into Padawan? I go for a Drain Punch, and it's not going to do that much, and I'm thinking now's my perfect opportunity, because I can go for a Prankster uh, Copycat, go for Drain Punch, and I'm going to break a sub if he chooses to switch into it, and if he, even if he doesn't, I can keep going for the hits. So he switches into his Power, goes for a Surf, knocks out my Padawan, which is perfectly okay with me. So I switch into my Beautifish and go in and rotate into my Hot Headed to go for a Thunderbolt because I actually calc this out. At maximum, Clamp Pearl hits 13 speed, which means that my Hot Headed, who hits 14 speed and has an unburdened boost already, is going to be able to knock it out with the Thunderbolt. So down goes his power and he's down to his uh, Igly Buff and his Trubbish. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt just because I know it's going to knock out anything he sends out. And he's just going to stall out the battle a little bit more and go for Protect. But I'm going to go for uh, my own Thunderbolts, or Acrobatics in this case, and knock it out. And that'll be the end of the battle. That was a fun battle, Silex LOL. So, let's get to the talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, uh, I'm going to do some Q&A. Our first question comes from Miko Rivera, who asks, Does Sheer Force negate confusion after Outrage? No, Sheer Force does not negate Confusion after Outrage. Sheer Force negates secondary effects towards your opponent, which include, but are not limited to, things such as burns or special defense drops. Our next question comes from Mr. Psydux. Why don't you run Sucker Punch on your Dredigan? Just curious. Well, I don't run Sucker Punch on my Dredigan because then it really wouldn't seem like there was much point of using Sheer Force Life Orb. I'd rather uh, use move like Crunch which gets that Sheer Force Life Orb boost. 
over the priority, and since it's a trick room, I don't have to worry about getting outsped. Our next question comes again from Miko Rivera. Why does Armaldo have Defeatist? Uh, it doesn't. That was my bad. It was a typo on my part. And our final question comes from Bay Kiramizi, who says, Love your videos. Little Cup looks pretty cool. Not fully evolved Pokemon always looked appealing to me, like Houndour, Duskull, Corphish, etc. Looks so good. I've never played Little Cup before. Is there some guide or something to build a team? Well, you can always check Smogon, that's where I started, and peruse through their articles. Look at the threatlets, speed tiers, and such. I'm sure if you look around on YouTube, you'd be able to find a few things telling you how to help with team building. I know that I'm doing uh, some specials that help you build Little Cup teams which currently I have my 200 subspecial, and pretty soon I'm going to have my 300 subspecial. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.